Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to go to a vintage fair thing and I thought I would take you along with me. So the particular one we're going to is the Vintage Antique and Military Fair in Barton Hall, Horndean. And Horndean is a sort of nearish Portsmouth, it's near Waterlooville, which is, oh I'm not really sure how far that is from Southampton, but not very far at all. Maybe like half an hour drive, a little bit longer. So I thought I would show you around the fair. I've not been to this one before, so I'm not sure what sort of things they'll have, but I'll take a few shots. And then afterwards, when we come back, if I bought anything, I will share it with you guys and we will talk about it like I did with the car boot sale that I did last year. It is nine o'clock now. We're getting picked up in an hour. I'm just going to go wake up uh, Chris and it looks like it's a nice day so far. So fingers crossed we'll have some lovely weather. Uh, I'm going to get a coffee and I will join you when we are at the fair. Hello again, we are back from the Vintage Fair and I thought I would just like tell you my thoughts about it. So first of all, this really was more of like a military affair. There was not a lot of vintage and there was very little antiques as well. There were just kind of like stalls in a, a hall, which I expected, but probably 60 to 70% of it was full military, guns, daggers, flags uniforms all of that stuff that's collectible for people and that's fine but it just felt a bit like on the advert it sort of was like vintage and antique and military and so i think i expected it to be a little bit more vintage and antiques i just thought you know i mentioned that if you're planning on going um i think they hold these every so often also i had a really interesting thing happen where one of the sellers asked me not to film her stuff and I kind of get it like that you know it's your stuff I've come into this forum where you sell and you kind of don't want it filmed but the reason why she didn't want it filmed was because she was worried about people reproducing her stock now I would understand this if it was like stuff that she had designed and sold as a small business but the stuff that she was selling was brooches um, and jewellery that were old but not super old maybe like from the 70s and 80s there wasn't like very very old stuff there so I found it really interesting that she was sort of like you should only film with permission it's not the done thing to film when it's not her designs um so I'm really interested if anyone has any experience of that or any views on that please pop it in the comments below because that's a super interesting discussion I think when it comes to resellers and vintage sellers let me know what you think uh is she right is that like out of order to film or you know it's just an old load of old stuff it doesn't matter it's been around the block we did buy a couple of things but not very many so i'm just gonna go through it we literally bought like two things the first one were some books uh on the lake district this one is from the 60s um and these will probably be a present for my dad he doesn't watch these vlogs so it doesn't really matter um this one's really cool because it has fold out maps so they're cute and then we also bought this it, it came with a bag i'm not sure why it came with a bag it is this le creuse milk pan it's all good inside it's not really chipped anywhere it's obviously been used before 
but yeah that's really good these obviously cost a little bit of money when you buy them new a lot of people do know these cost money so they're often very expensive to pick up this one was 24 pounds which really is not bad at all so those are the two things that we bought nice and simple because there wasn't loads to do at the um, fair, we ended up just having a lovely little day out in Chichester. I've never really been to the Chichester before, so it was nice to see. We went and had a carvery roast dinner and it was delicious. We also had um, a little look around some of the shops. I bought, oh, I tell you what, I bought some tiny, tiny ornaments, which I will show you. So they're in this box. This box is so oversized. Hi, oh, Mikey Roo. What are you doing, hon? So we bought these tiny little cat ornaments. I think I just, they were so tiny I had to buy them, basically. <laughs> I have no idea where we're gonna put them yet. Somewhere where the cats can't get them. So here is the first one. It's a tiny, tiny little cat doing a stretch. Um, and because we got a little Riker one, we had to get a muesli one. Look at this. Not quite the same colours as Muesli, but it is a tiny weeny little ornament, so I'm not bothered too much. Look at them. That about wraps up this vlog. If you like this, then please like and subscribe to this channel. I make videos every Sunday, and I hope to see you around. 